What's up guys, Blacklight and Religion here and uh, I searched a lot of forums about this topic and uh, I found out that uh, there are some problems in modem, in terms of modem flashing for our device, Samsung Galaxy S4. So the main problem is that after you flash it uh, using Odin, it uh, won't change. You will look into into basement version in settings about phone and you'll find that uh, no modem has changed. Uh, no modem has changed. So, Today I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of this problem. It is very simple. I will I'll explain you a couple of steps you have to follow in order to get rid of this problem. And uh, first of all, as I'm now recording, uh, I'm also recording in Windows here. Uh, all you have to do first is to go and search for Odin version 3.04, okay? And it's the first uh, first uh, <coughs> first link you will get on Google. Just click and download. Afterwards you download it, you just extract it to go by going to desktop like this and you all have, you don't have to, to mess with other things right here. Afterwards you have to go to this thread, I will attach the link in the description in YouTube right down here. And uh, it is called uh, reference Galaxy S4 Inatalon slash Inatalon 5 GSM uh, non HLOS. Modems collection. Non HLOS uh, is as known as uh, Wi Fi that uh, f the modem that fixes the Wi Fi problem. You, you, I heard about um, about the fact that there are some problems also with the uh, Wi Fi after flashing. So the non HLOS uh, modems will fix that also. So. Uh, we're browsing right here. As you can see, the first uh, the first topic is related to i9000 and 9000 simple without a five. So if you're using, uh, be aware what you use because you may end up with a uh, with a nasty nasty. We'll end up with other problems actually because flashing the wrong modem may lead into losing email, and that's a painful, painful, painful problem you will encounter. So, you if you have my device, the i9005, I know it looks the same, but uh, I have the i9005 version, you can check that, uh, You'll I'll show you later how you can check that, and uh, you go here and search for, for the latest, uh, latest uh, modem uh, for, your, for your continent actually, because uh, modems related to Europe are have this XX uh, in front of the other combinations of letters and the other other modems like for, for Asia, for America, T-Mobile variants, something like that are uh, with uh, Z or uh, with D and V, okay? So we must clarify that. I recommend you to use the latest XX and I will show you guys I will set up my camera on my device here. Uh, how to how to find out what modem you are running and what is the latest version you should be flashing. Okay, guys, so I'm back with the second part. I realized that it's better to keep the camera like this, so you can also see what I'm doing on the uh, on desktop. Um, now, I forgot to mention that you have to download the latest kernel based on XX before the, the combination. Of, uh, of letters and uh, you should uh, download it from Mega since uh, their host is a little bit slow. Um, download to your computer. It is a RAR file, very simple. You have to extract it to your desktop or, no, or your before folder. Just don't forget where you where you extract it. So it is ready. As you can see here, it uh, leads me to a tar file. Tar file which you will have to load up in Odin. Now, guys, um, this is my device right here and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to... Jesus. Oh god, uh, I just received a bad message and... Uh, things are not going so... I'll try to concentrate much of my work. I don't know if you can see here but you have to go to settings by going right like this I don't know if you can see but go to more and uh, about device and as you can see here I'm baseband version uh, side 
it says i9005 xx eug nf1 and if you go here you will see that the nf1 you saw all earlier on my device it is here right here so there are other two modems that has been up have been updated after after the modem and you should take in mind that uh, upgrading the modem will uh, will actually make something good to your signal strength actually actually will uh, will uh, i don't know how to say it but uh, as i said before it will do really something good to your signal strength uh, your gps why not uh, your wi-fi strength signal strength and uh, afterwards afterwards all you need to do is to follow my steps right here so oh jesus this message really creeps me out <clears throat> i received a message from a special friend that uh, is not feeling very good and uh, you know it's kind of kind of freaky so I have my USB USB cable right here. I will connect it to my to my computer right here, USB 3.0 port, and uh, you should follow my steps right now very carefully because uh, that's why the, most of the people encounter this problem. So you have the Odin uh, 304 here and uh, the proper modem, and as you as you saw before, I'm running the NF1. So we're we're going to. To upgrade to the NG2. Um, how do you flash it? This is very important. First of all, you need to get into into download mode. So how how do you get into download mode? It is very simple. You just press down down uh, volume, home button, and uh, power off or power button. And uh, After you hear a vibration, as I'm gonna, okay, you have to press the same combination again so you can get into download mode and press up to continue, okay? So we're into, we're right now into downloading mode. So connect your, your device with the USB cable to your, to your computer. And if you don't already have the drivers installed, if you have running Windows 7 or higher version of Windows 8 or 8.1, they will drivers from Samsung Odin will be will be installed by default. Okay. So now what you have to do now is to go to Odin and open the main application that text. Okay. So you got the application, and as you can see here, it says ID. Calm. and this is zero, zero calm five this is your device your you have you connected a couple of seconds ago to your computer so if you don't see this right here it is not very good because the drivers uh, weren't installed or are installed uh, are installed uh, right now and you will also receive a message here called edit so your device is added now this is very important. Please follow these steps very, very, very carefully. Um, you have to untick auto reboot. So leave this, leave this option unticked, and then select at the phone phone area here. Select the the modem. I extracted a couple of minutes ago. Oh, you extracted. Okay. So this is the modem you're going to flash. The dot ta. This is the termination. So. Set it as phone because uh, PDA, as uh, you can see, PDA, you can flash. Uh, I was flashing on my S1 uh, PDA section, I was, I was flashing uh, kernels, ROMs, and uh, official firmware. Okay, now on phone, you only have to flash modems. Phone area is strictly related to modem, and that you, you should understand. CSC is related to the network network optimizations, so you don't have to to worry about this. When you download a a stock firmware, I was uh, I was downloading for my S1 a couple of years ago, 
and I, I was receiving three files, you should put PDA, PDA, phone, and, P, and this phone, and the CSC, and CSC, okay. Okay, and uh, now, once you have selected that phone, uh, the modem.tar, all you need to do after you, you are sure your device has, has been recognized by your computer and all drivers has been installed uh, perfectly, you should hit start. So we're hitting start right now. It will take a very... It is a very fast process. So it is already flashed. See modem.bin is the actual modem. So it says right now, it says here pass. Right now, all you have to do, and this is the step where most of the users have this problem. All you have to do now is to get your device, unplug it, okay, and then reboot again into download, downloading mode. So, again the same combination you have to press until you'll hear a vibration. So, vibration and then again into download mode. Why is it necessary to get again in download mode? Where as far as I'm concerned and I, I found out this by myself you have to flash this modem twice in order to get it working and that's why where most of the users uh, are mistaken they flash the modem once because they because uh, they are they are set up on the idea that uh, you have to properly flash once and then it's gonna be working well that's not I think there's a bug of Samsung or some things because uh, as well as uh, as other people I was uh, I was very keen on the idea of flashing once this this modem, as I was doing in uh, on my S1 a couple of years ago, and it worked. Actually, it worked after the first flashing, so I didn't I didn't have to flash it twice. So again, repeat this uh, this action. So connect your device again. It says add it again here, after it said removed. So all you have to do now is to flash it again, but what I do recommend is to click reset and load up things again. So there won't be any problems with the... with uh, any problems. So on and so forth, you will have to disable again auto reboot and uh, after you, you are... Uh, you are aware of the fact that your device is properly connected to your PC press start again and it will flash the modem again a couple of seconds it should be ready um, it says now writing please wait about two minutes it won't take that, that long so it says pass now unplug your device and simply reboot it so press only the home button right here and it will reboot it and I will show you in a couple of uh, a couple of seconds after the boot the actual boot is uh, is done that my my modem has changed okay so there are four important steps I will repeat to you in order to to get things working let me power on my device okay so it's booting up as you can see here uh, so there are a couple of important steps. First, download Odin. This version of Odin, it is crucial that you download it 3.04 because uh, even the latest version of Odin can cause problems on this uh, stage, at this stage. Um, and download the latest preferred modem for your region. I recommend XX the latest version. Extract it on your desktop. Open Odin, connect it. Make sure you have uh, all the drivers installed, and if you have, if you haven't already, um, wait for them to to be installed by default Windows. And uh, afterwards, Open Odin, get your modem that star set up on your PDA section. And think, very crucial, and think how to reboot and then uh, after you're ready click start then unplug the device get again into download mode 
reset it, put the same configuration as I did before and then flash it again and then reboot. And now I'm gonna show you guys that I'm running I'm running the the modem that uh, that uh, I flashed here. So it is the XXUG UGNG2. So if you take a look here, I don't know if you can see clearly, but I strongly recommend it to to think that uh, I really did this. Basement version i9005 XXUG. UGNG2. So we have the same we have the same the same baseband I flashed before. So I don't know if you can see but I will try to to make it as clear as possible here so my camera can focus on that. Okay. Okay guys, so this was the actually actual review. Um, I received the message on the Tapa Talk. Now, as a, an ending, please thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Your support really keeps me motivated doing this, and uh, you will see further reviews from me if you subscribe and you don't have to search from uh, for forums or things like that. So, Blackline Android, thank you for thanks you for your support, and uh, see you guys later. Bye bye.